Hey guys, it's Noah, and today we're going to be talking about Miami Edge defender Jalen Phillips. Before we jump into the video, I just want to thank you guys for 600 subscribers. That's insane to me. When I started this channel, I never anticipated it to grow to be this large, let alone this quickly. So thank you guys for being awesome and for your continued support. Now let's get into the video. I just want to start off this video by saying Jalen Phillips is a monster, and he deserves to be a top 10 pick in the upcoming 2021 NFL Draft. Whether he will be remains to be seen. However, after this video, I hope that you can formulate your own opinion and possibly maybe even agree with mine in that he is the most solid defender in the 2021 NFL Draft. If there is one word that I could describe Jalen Phillips with, it would be explosive. He fires off the ball, has a great first step, and utilizes terrific hand movement that is reminiscent of Aaron Donald in the sense that he's able to chain multiple hand moves back to back to back without losing a step. It would be an understatement to describe Jalen Phillips as athletic. He's just coming off of his pro day where he ran a 4-4-40 and blew the roof off the joint with his athleticism. Standing at 6'5", 270 pounds, Jalen Phillips is a force to be reckoned with on the field. The reason I choose to describe Jalen Phillips as the next possible Bosa brother is simply because of his fluidity and movement. Rarely is he going to make a move that's not calculated to the highest degree. And even though I choose to describe him like one of the Bosa brothers, I don't think there's anyone in the NFL currently that quite displays what Jalen Phillips is capable of. Jalen Phillips plays an instinctive, natural, easy flowing game of football. And by that I mean the game comes to him relatively naturally. Rarely do you see a prospect come out of college so fundamentally sound as Jalen Phillips. Rarely is he going to make a move that has anything to be desired. His hand movements are precise and accurate and almost deadly in the way that he maneuvers around offensive linemen. And offensive tackles, beware. He's not a one-trick pony. You're not going to be able to take a step back and beat him around the edge because he can go through you too. He covers more ground in his first step than almost anyone else on the defensive line has through their first five steps. And I want to touch back on the fact that he is 6 foot 5, 270 pounds, running a 4-4. That's almost unheard of, unparalleled athleticism. And although he has the capability to do so, Jalen Phillips is not going to sacrifice his team to play hero football. He will shamelessly, time and time again, take out the pulling tackle or guard on screen plays and allow his teammates to make the tackle. If Jalen Phillips isn't making the play himself, you can guarantee that he's involved in some form or fashion that allows his teammates to make the play. One of the most beautiful aspects of Jalen Phillips' game is the refusal to give up on plays. It doesn't matter if you're streaking down the opposite sideline with no one within 20 yards of you, Jalen Phillips is going to run until you have entered the end zone. Not because he's going to make a highlight reel, but because he wants it that badly. I've said in probably almost every single video on this channel, effort is something that you have or you don't. Effort cannot be taught nor coached into a player. The player either does it on their own accord or they don't. And a word to the wise for offensive coordinators, quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, any skill position on the offense. Just because Jalen Phillips is on the other side of the direction of play does not mean you're safe. In fact, quite the contrary. Jalen Phillips, half the time, is the first person there regardless of where he's lined up on the field. His lateral movement is something to be marveled at. He moves like a defensive back in the way that he's able to cover sideline to sideline. Let's also not forget that Jalen Phillips had his breakout season in one of the most trivial years in modern history. Few practices, limited interaction with teammates and coaching staff, all resulting in the conundrum that was 2020. With this in mind, it's hard to assume that Jalen Phillips has reached his peak. With the far more firm, regimental structure that he will have around him at the NFL level, with proper coaching, Jalen Phillips can go above and beyond where he's already currently yet, which is scary for offenses to think about. To put edge defenders into perspective, you usually either get a bull rush guy or a speed rush guy. Rarely are you going to get both in the same player, let alone the prowess that he shows in both styles of pass rushing. Now I know, the way I'm describing him makes him sound like he's the best prospect ever and he has no faults, there's no weaknesses to his game and he should be taken first overall. However, quite the contrary, I acknowledge his faults. He has an injury history and he also doesn't have the most muscle mass on him allowing him to get kind of tangled up with offensive linemen at times. However, I'm a firm believer that within reason, 
you should never not draft someone because of an injury history. Obviously, there's exceptions. If you have major injuries like ACL tears and broken backs, you should exercise caution when you consider picking them. However, most of Jalen Phillips' quote-unquote injury history is made up of concussions and sprained ankles. Now, don't get me wrong, concussions are not to be taken lightly. It can be the pitfall of young careers. However, if you hide behind the fear of someone getting injured, then I don't know how you can accurately draft anyone in the NFL. Football is a violent sport. It's a contact sport. People can get hurt at any time. And it's unfortunate, but it is a facet of the game. When it comes to his other shortcoming regarding his bulk and muscle mass, that's something that can be relatively easily fixed. Most players in the NFL gain a lot of muscle when they enter the NFL. The dietary experts and strength and conditioning coaches custom make workout and dietary regimens for the players to follow, allowing them to play at their peak performance. So in my mind, to knock someone for a few concussions and muscle mass is almost insulting to a player of Jalen Phillips caliber. I guess the final knock that you could potentially have against Jalen Phillips is that he's almost too tall playing edge at 6 foot 5. However, if you were to watch his film, he plays at a relatively low pad level, so I don't think that's going to be a major concern for NFL teams. Occasionally he gets stood up, but what player doesn't? Jalen Phillips is entering this draft with fellow edge rushers Gregory Rousseau and Quincy Roche also out of Miami. However, I firmly believe that Jalen Phillips deserves to be the first of the three taken. Most people have Jalen Phillips slated as a mid first to early second round draft grade, however, I have him as an early first round draft grade simply because of the talent level. After all, the general idea of the NFL draft is to build your team for the future based on talent and scheme fit. With no questions regarding his talent, it brings into question the scheme fit. However, I have almost zero doubt that he will have no problem fitting into almost any NFL system. So that pretty much wraps up what I have to say about Jalen Phillips. I could go on and on about his athleticism, I could ramble all day about how good I think he can be at the NFL level. However, this is the point where you decide. You come up with your own opinion, maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. Let me know in the comments, and feel free to tell me what other content you'd like to see. Let's not forget, we just hit 600 subscribers. Subscribers. We're on the road to 1,000 and then I can apply for YouTube partner and produce even better content for you guys. So give yourself a round of applause and a pat on the back for supporting me, even though I haven't been producing the most content recently, and I hope to return to a regular schedule soon. With that being said, thanks for watching. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff really helps me out, and I'll see you in the next one.